Hey there, just wanted to take a couple minutes to show you how I connect my generator up to my home wiring. And I've taken pretty much the safest approach you can take to prevent any backfeeding into the main panel. I had a sub panel installed, which is also a transfer switch put out by Briggs & Stratton. It's uh, a particular model that's compatible with the generator that I use. And I moved all the essential circuits from the main panel over to the sub panel via that flux conduit. And the EMT on the left hand side houses the generator feed from the inlet box on the side of the house. And I had all of this done professionally. Inside the sub panel, when the power goes out, after the generator is turned on and plugged into the inlet box, I'll come down here, shut off all of my circuits first, shut off the utility supply breaker, push the analog switch up, and turn the generator supply breaker on. And at that point, the sub panel is energized by the generator. And then finally, I'll turn on each individual circuit, starting with the circuit that draws the most current first to give the generator a chance to normalize. And then I'll proceed to some of the other higher current circuits. And then finally, the, uh, the lower current circuits like the kitchen, the front entry lights, master bedroom, etc. And during a power outage, I have an emergency light in the garage installed. So if the power goes out, the emergency light turns on allows me to find my way to the panel. When power is restored, the light turns off. That's it. Simple, sweet, and safe. Thanks for watching.